the air gap. So just advance it to the next cycle. There it goes. Oh, and it is leaking from the air gap. Sometimes I can unplug these by blocking the top and sticking my hand down and feeling for where the garbage disposal line is. So it'll shoot at the top when I do this. Sometimes I can get it to clear up. Not this time. You're gonna need a special tool there to clear that. You can see where it drains into the into the disposal right here. Anyway, I'll clear that all out. Get it going. So our dishwasher is clogged here and we need to unclog it. What I've got is this, it's like a really long bottle brush, an air gap cleaning tool. Extends and pushes down through the air gap. What you do is pull the little cap off here. Some of these will have a screw on type and you can unscrew those. For this particular kind, you just squeeze and then pull. It's pressing the two tabs here, pull it out. We're doing this if we look up top in the air gap. Look at all that stuff that's stuck in there. So this is kind of gross, but it's got to be done. Anyway, it's like chicken bones. That's all hanging up the dishwasher, keeping it from draining properly. So now I'm going to run the air gap tool down through the line. And when you pull this back out, you want to avoid splatter and stuff with it. But basically, this will push all the way down, and we may be able to see it come out into the into the disposal here. Let's see if I can shed some light on it here so you can see better. Anyway, it's just long enough to poke into the disposal right there. Anyway, I'm gonna pull it back out. It's gonna be all covered with a bunch of funk up on top. You can kind of shield it with your hand or block it with a rag or do whatever you gotta do to keep this from getting all over. Pull it out nice and easy. There we go, and we'll rinse that all off. Now, inside here, where it empties into the disposal, I can feel a small ridge around the disposal itself. So, let me show you how to, how to clear that up. Basically, we're gonna need to remove the line from underneath. And what happens on these garbage disposals installs, you can see my other video on how to install a garbage disposal or one of the most often missed steps. When installing a disposal, show you here. We're going to remove the top clamp and pull the disposal hose off. Now if your disposal's really old, this may not be worth it because it can crack right here when you go to pull it off. But if it's not too old, just going to gently pull this off. Now we can look inside here make sure that's all clear. But where we're looking is is right here. And I'll try to show you the ridge. Maybe I can just overlay another video and show you the ridge there that's there. Let's see. I think I need a better flashlight. Okay. here there we go okay can you see the little ridge all the way around the outside well as your food goes in there all that's going to be hanging up around there so what I'm going to do is take the flat blade of my knife and then just take that ridge right off just by going around the inside of it right here all the way around until it's nice and smooth. I think that's it. 
it's really easy but it really makes a difference because that that ridge there really allows food and stuff to hang up on it I can still see a tiny bit up on this left side try to get that Okay. And now looking through there, you can see how it's all clear. So now there's not going to be any place for food and debris to hang up as much. Now will keep things going clear. So this is kind of like the ultimate preventative maintenance step for dishwashers for keeping that line clear. When you tighten this on, you don't want to tighten it down too tight. Just snug is good. It can crack where the garbage disposal seam is, goes right across that spot. So that's something else you want to be aware of. Okay. Now we can test out our, well, now we can put our disposal back together, our air gap back together. Put this cap back on. Again, it just squeezes. Some of them will have, you'll have to look at the particular direction this one goes. This one can actually go either way. Make sure it's snapped in place. Set our air gap back on. Get my flashlight out of the train. And now we're ready to test it out. So here it goes. Turn the dishwasher on. Watch it closed. And it looks like this one's missing some screws, so I'm going to need to mount that to the cabinet better also. But it's in there for testing purposes. So you can hear now it's on its fill cycle. And once that fills, I'll just advance it to the drain cycle and we'll take another look and see what happens. And it can be some pretty nasty stuff, so it's a good idea to wear gloves for when you do this. Okay, fill cycle is filled, so we're just going to advance the timer to the drain cycle. Take a look at, at our air gap, everything's going good. Looking down in our disposer, you can see it draining out like a shed. It's got a lot of soap residue, it looks like. You know, the open is good, run the disposer. That's good. You can also check down here for any leaks, make sure everything's good there, and it is. We're all set there. <laughs>